Hey everyone, so uh, today um, in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce your input latency or lower your ping pretty much in uh, any game most especially in, uh, in Valorant so what you're going to do first is check your internet speed test all you have to do is search for it on any browser and you may opt to run it here or on this UCLA speed test so as you can see uh, I have a total of 75.4 Mbps download speed and 100 on Mbps upload speed now if I do it on Ookla So this is the result of my internet speed as of now that it has been tweaked so now I'm going to show you how to tweak your internet or rather reduce more input latency and increase your download speed or upload speed. Oh and uh, I forgot to mention that in order to maximize uh, your internet speed and to in order to have the best of it, you need to have ethernet cable because if you're only using Wi-Fi, it's it's not it cannot maximize your um, connection because with ethernet cable it prioritizes and uh, it maximizes your internet speed more rather than using just your wi-fi so i recommend you having an ethernet cable because in this guide we are going to tweak on the ethernet cable adapter options so what you're going to have to do first is to create a restore point this is to ensure that if you do not like the settings applied to your system you can go back to that restore point after creating your restore point, we're going to DNS benchmark. First one here. All you have to do then is download DNS benchmark. Click on it. This is to uh, know what your optimal DNS server is for your uh, for your internet. Go to name servers. After this, you're going to run benchmark. so once that is finished the first one here is the most optimal dns server for your internet but i recommend something like 1.1.1.1 or 8.8.8.8 by google but 1.1.1.1 here is much more optimal to my internet than using 
5.8 by Google. Now to change that, all you have to do is go to change adapter options. And on the Ethernet here, if you're using Ethernet, you click this one. And then click on properties. Find internet protocol version 4. Click on properties. And change this to 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 now after that's done click on ok and there's one more thing to uh, configure just click on configure here click on yes go to advanced now this is the most important part if you have advanced EEE option, click on disable, ARP offload to disable, auto disable, disable gigabit to disabled, energy efficient ethernet to disabled, flow control to RX and TX enabled, gigabit, gigabit light is disabled, green ethernet, make sure this is disabled, interrupt moderation enabled, IPv4 checks and offload, Disabled, Jumbo Frame, Disabled, Large Standoff Log V2, IPv4, 2 Disabled, and IPv6, 2 Disabled as well. Maximum number of RSS queues, make sure that this is the highest number of queues that you have. NS Offload to Disabled, Power Saving Mode, now this is more important, make sure to disable this. Priority and VLAN to Disabled, speed and duplex to auto negation, TCP checksum, offload, IPv4 and IPv6 should be disabled, UDP checksum, offload, IPv4 and IPv6 should be disabled, wake on magic packet, just leave it on enabled, wake on magic packet when system should be disabled, wake on pattern match should be enabled. WOL and shutdown link speed should be not speed down. Now after you've you've uh, tweaked all of those settings, go to power management. Now make sure to uncheck this to uncheck the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Now once that's done, just click on OK. Now, another way to uh, increase your internet speed is to have SG TCP Optimizer. Click on the first one. I'm going to leave down this link on the description down below. Make sure to download SG TCP Optimizer 4. After that's finished downloading, Click on show in folder and make sure to run this as administrator. Click on yes. Now on your screen it might uh it might be on Windows default. Now set it to custom. After that's done. Click the slider here to 100 plus Mbps. Set the TCP auto tuning to normal window scaling heuristics to disabled. Now this is more important congestion control provider to CTCP. Leave uh, this uh, set time to live to 64 ECN capability to disabled. Now. After that, you just click on Apply Changes, click on OK. Now after that, it's going to tell you that it is going to need to have to reboot to take effect. Just click on No. Because once everything that is done, we'll just reboot our system. Now click on Advanced Settings. Now, just follow on what? I have here 
max connections per server should be 10 here should be 10 on host resolution priority local priority to 4 host priority to 5 dns priority to 6 netbt priority to 7 on retransmissions set this to 2 set this to disabled retransmit timeout initial rto should be 2000 mean rto should be 300 no just leave it on zero do not use nla to optimal one gaming tweet set, set network throttling index to disabled fffffff set system responsiveness to gaming zero and just follow these steps tcp to disabled tcp no delay to enabled tcp disabled large system cache to default size to default and max user port to 65534 and tcp timed wait delay to 30 click on apply changes again and click on ok now it's going to tell you to reboot just click on no because after we're done with everything we're going to reboot our system just click on exit after you are done copying all of the settings so the last step is going to be on command prompt go ahead and search for command prompt right click on it and run it as administrator after that you're going to type in the command IP config slash release and then IP config slash renew and then IP config slash flash DNS and then lastly you're going to type the command net sh winsock reset so that's pretty much it for the last step and don't forget to restart your computer after you've input the command so go ahead and restart your computer so that is pretty much it in order to increase your internet speed or reduce input latency so leave a like if you've learned something Comment down below if it worked and uh, kindly subscribe. So that's it. See ya.